champion, Jermaul Charlo, is going to work out. We're going to talk about the media to get yourself ready to go. We're going to talk with Ronnie Shields, his team trainer this as well. House. Don't forget, we're 12 days away live on Showtime. This is crazy. a pretty nice place to uh, shelter in place in. Yeah, you know, this is the, the big bubble. I'm, I'm, um, I'm pretty proud of the bubble, you know. <laughs> it did me right during quarantine. Tom, are you ready? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. They hey, um, promoting the fuck out of this, especially in quarantine. Like, I'm proud of them. Tunes and just making love. Showtime, all of them be doing a hell of a job. You stay sharp, you sharp. <laughs> stay sharp, Dabo. Be on my lookout for uh my discussion video on uh, last Saturday's Good event, time. Top Rank event. Mm -hmm. Got a lot to discuss. I was right about to record it, then he just went live. I'm like, let me get this real quick. Chinko, he throw punches and bunches and he got heavy ass hands, but Charlo, I have a feeling that with both Charlo, Jamal and Jamal, this could be an early night for both of them. I feel like they could be knocking both of these dudes out early. This might be um some cl a classic showing of the Charlo. Don't be surprised if it is, that's what I'm saying. Listen, how fucked Bring on Canelo, I agree. Canelo know he don't want that work. Canelo know he don't want that work. You know what I'm saying? Get into it, get into it, man. Conversation with Ronnie Shields, the esteemed trainer of Jamal Charlo. Ronnie, you have been with Jamal Charlo for several years. And, and can you tell us about, for you, I asked Jamal what being a pay-per-view headliner means to him. But for you as his trainer, to watch how far he's come, what is this journey and what does September 26th mean to all of you? Well, I mean, it means a lot, you know, because... Yeah, he's getting warmed up. You know, he's made it to the top. You know, he's made it to the point to where people want to see him. Just hit the 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No combination. I don't want to miss this. The one thing I'll say is that <laughs> September 26th. It's like a double pay per view for so a price of one. Can you give us an idea of, of how much the Houston embraces them? We were here, and I think I saw him around here when Jamal fought Brandon Adams last year. Whole media in his but the, the in star his power head. of Jamal just continues to rise. He was on GQ, you know, having a photo shoot with that. His, you know, now that he's headlining on pay per view, Houston continues to embrace him. You have worked with a lot, a lot of fighters, a lot of legendary fighters over the course of your career. When it comes to Jermel, what separates him from the rest of the prize fighters that you have dealt with? Well, I mean, you know, I've, of course, I've been, you know, so many good fighters in my career, and I mean, I, I thank God for that. And but he fought at the top, with the band on the field, running fires, but never would have been, you know, hard work, you know, hard work, paying attention to what he has to do, and you know, the thing that separates the world is that. Right on. Watching, yeah, he said, You know, he ain't the best, but he's up there. Said, you know, I ain't gonna kick him in while he down. Well, let's talk about September 26th, yeah, specifically Sergey Derbyanchenko. Derbyanchenko had a oh, very a close horse. loss of Anthony Gennady Golovkin in his life to time out. He also came up short against Daniel Jacobs. What mm -hmm. are you anticipating out of the Ukrainian hard hitter? I ain't nothing like that. Uh, just, like, just like every opponent. We expect for the phone to be at his best. You know, we expect her to come in and, of course, try to win and to, to be the best he can possibly be mm -hmm. that night. But also, come out the same night. You know, we aren't leaving anything. Be he he be like this. He's trying to walk walk around with a little stick. Like he. <laughs> he now, we're obviously dealing with difficult times in our world right when it up. comes to COVID-19. What okay. have, have there been any extra challenges that have been involved in preparing a fighter of the caliber of Jamal Charlo for his pay-per-view matchup on Showtime pay-per-view against Sergey Devianchenko? Oh, that's what handed. I think the most important thing is that we stay safe. No. 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 And the good thing about us is... Yeah, I got him knocked on him out, man. I got him knocked out there with him. Because Devin Akinko is nice. If Devin Akinko can take his power, it's going to be a long night. It's going to be crazy. But I don't think he can take it. Come on. Now, Ronnie, when it comes to Jamal, do you like the fact that Sergey Gavrichenko is not going to be hard to find? He likes to come forward. He likes to apply pressure. Do you like the fact that, you know, Jamal doesn't have to necessarily cut off the ring per se because Sergey does like to come forward and throw punches and bunches? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, you have to, this is why you train. You train yeah, for all the time. like the throw punches and blankets. I had to come forward and fight for urgency. So it's going to be a bomb ass fight because Charlo is going to get a real push. It's going to be kind of like uh, the J Rock album fight, I feel like. It's going to be way more short. You know, our thing is to be safe. Stay with the game plan. And if you feel good about this fight, if everything goes according to plan, what would you like next? I know that the name of. Now, Alvarez has been thrown about. You know, we know that Jamal is willing to fight any of the 160-pound champions. If, if that isn't on the table, he could potentially go up to 168. Not GGG. Shit like yeah, well, Jacobs. Think, um, yeah. 
They think they think I'm gonna run. You know what I'm saying? They think I'm gonna run. Uh, I'm a chasing, chasing grass. Lines only, man. You know what I mean? Always want to fight the best. Thirty-one. I told you. I told you. It's probably the number one guy. The one item that I see about you all that, so that I love seeing about <laughs> that you is that he has an edge about him. He is the ultimate alpha male when he steps inside the ring. His demeanor, the way he prepares, how he applies the pressure to his opponents. When they doubt Char, they doubt me, they doubt me, they doubt Char. He lives on having that edge about him you know I mean? in this fight business. Big Charlo. Uh, I love y'all. Concentrate. Hey. Stay focused and stay sharp. You know, that's the most important thing. It's to be the best you can possibly do. Every time that you start doing that, you know, if I feel today, it's not something that, you know, it's not. I ain't doing none of that. Come here. Come here. For the Ugas. Mm-hmm. Jamal has been a pro for 12 sure. years. Yeah. Not necessarily giving away your game plan or things you've been working on, but how much better has he gotten since the last time we saw him on December 7th at Barclays Center on Showtime against Dennis Hogan? Oh, okay, see, I knew he was warmed up. I knew he was warmed up. Come on, say he's not ready for Earl. He's not fighting Earl. What are you talking about? He did not ride. He's not fighting Earl. What are you talking about? He's funny as hell. Well, you know that. He need to go to Derek though, man. Like, if he went to Derek, man, he'd be crazy. Why is that so, Ronnie? Well, I mean, you know, I told him before that. Talking as you did that ramp, Chinko. Yo, what? Yo, you gonna dog shit. He's gonna line shit. Oh, you do a jab. He's gonna line shit. Oh, you gonna try to throw that? He gonna try to throw that? Yeah, we gonna throw that motherfucker too. Yeah, what else you wanna do? What else you talking about? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, oh, you. He been scared of GGG. 
He from Russia. You know what I'm saying? He from over there. He been knowing who GGG was. He been scared of him, so he ain't scared of me. Come on, come on, come on, come kill him. Come, come on, come on, Charlo. <laughs> Shot, shot, real shot. Yeah, I said like the old head. He shot. <laughs> I see a perky.